This picture perfectly encapsulates what's happening in Ukraine at the moment. On the right-hand side of the frame, we've got this amazing Orthodox Russian church. On the left, this incredible engulfing flame. The, the Orthodox church on the right is, is also a massive symbol of, 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 Russian, of Russian power throughout the region. In one picture, description encapsulates perfectly what's going on in, in, in Ukraine at the moment. This is a picture of Timonchenko, and it's quite remarkable because she's been locked up for however many years, uh, and she's now finally been allowed out. But here she is in a wheelchair. She's suffered terribly at the hands of the, of the essentially the dictatorship. Here we have a beautiful picture lit by candlelight. It's very tender, it's very sensitive. And this woman's listening very, very intently to the words of Timonchenko. And she would have lived under the Russian occupation as well. So this is probably a very, very momentous moment in her life. This is really quite a horrifying picture. You've got this woman, woman it looks like a woman in the foreground, clearly a protester based on what she's wearing with flames all, all over her back. We can only assume that perhaps one of the monococktails that, that he or she was preparing went dreadfully wrong and it's obviously exploded um, onto her or him and onto the back of this person that we can see falling away in the background. This picture is a lot more subtle than the, the pictures we're seeing coming out of Kiev at the moment. This picture was, was taken in November and it perfectly encapsulates the situation. We've got a woman with the, with the flag of the European Union and in the background we have riot police who are essentially the, the state, the government, which the pro-Europeans are, are fighting. This picture is absolutely packed full of information. To the left, we've got this, this amazing flame burning. In the middle, there's all the, all the debris that's been thrown by the protesters. We also have the protesters themselves heading towards this incredible monument in the middle. And we, can, we look at this as Westerners, as these people are, essentially, and we can, we can see this in London. We can see this as being Nelson's Column, perhaps, or the Queen, the Queen Victoria Memorial outside Buckingham Palace. It's, it's of that level of majesty. And that's why these pictures are so powerful and so striking.